Hey everyone, so I'm back today with my sister Carly and we are here to do our Black Friday book haul. We have a combination of books from Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and Book Outlet and we are really excited about all these books so let's just jump right into it. The first book I have here is from Barnes & Noble and it is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. This is about a guy who has his wife gets taken and then something about his people being enslaved and then he has to like fight a battle or something to like help save everyone and it has been compared to like the Hunger Games and Game of Thrones and it just sounds really, really awesome and I've heard nothing but great things about it so I'm really excited about this one. The next book I have here is also from Barnes & Noble and it is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Daniles. Dinolowski. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I've been wanting this book for a really long time. I've heard really amazing things about it. I have heard that it's pretty hard to read though. I'm not really sure what it's about. Something about like a haunted house or something but it's like about people's takes on it or whatever. But like see how some of it's written like there's barely anything on some pages and then other pages are a bunch of different stuff. So I've heard it's kind of hard to read, but I heard that it's really, really good. So I can't wait to read this one. And then I have a book from Amazon. It is uh, The World of Ice and Fire, The Untold History of Westeros and The Game of Thrones. This is by George R. R. Martin, Elio M. Garcia Jr. and Lydia Antonsen. This is just a giant, it's a coffee table book actually. It's filled with pictures and stuff about the Game of Thrones world. Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty. Yeah. And it has a lot of like information about it and stories. And this was originally $50. But then for Black Friday, it was reduced to $25. But then I had the 30% off coupon, so I only got it for like 17 bucks. And it was an amazing deal. I probably won't actually read this. It just looks pretty. First book is Love by the Morning Star by Laura L. Sullivan. I picked it up because I thought the cover was really cute. It's centered around two girls, so there's two main characters, Hannah and Anna, and it takes place during World War II era. That's all I know about it. Next one is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I already read this and it was so good. I definitely recommend this one. Next, I have my giant book outlet box. They were having a sale. They had the 30% off their, their entire... They had 30% off their entire collection of books and they also gave out like $10 coupons and stuff to go towards your purchase and so of course I used it. I only spent like $31 on 10 bucks. I already opened the box because I was too excited. <laughs> so I have 10 books in here. I'm stuck. The first one I'm seeing on the top is In the After by Demetria Lunetta. And this is a post-apocalyptic novel where something called them, I'm assuming it's something to do with like aliens or whatever, that come and kind of destroy the earth and the main character, I do not know her name, but she survives and she finds an infant in a store and that infant survives as well. And they live together for a couple of years until they meet a group of people. Um, living in this government facility place and yeah so it just sounds really really cool and I've heard pretty good things about it and I've been wanting to read it for a while so I decided to pick it up. Next book I have is Dear Life by Alice Munro and um, I don't know much about what this is about either but it's a it. collection of like short stories so a bunch of stories in here. Oh, It sounded kind of good when I read it, the synopsis. Also, it has a Nobel Prize, so, um, you yeah, know, it should be good. The next book I have from Book Outlet is Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delera. Okay, so I'm not really sure what it's about, but it's definitely about a girl who writes letters, and I think it's to help her mourn the death of somebody and other people, and I've just heard pretty good things about it, and when I saw it on Book Outlet, I knew I had to have it because it was definitely on my Amazon wish list. So I found it really cheap on Book Outlet, and I'm really excited to read it. The next book I have is Hotel on the Corner of Bitter and Sweet. And by oh yeah, who is it by Jamie Ford? By <laughs> Jamie Ford. Um, takes place in 1986. 
in Panama. Um, some person in Panama is having a garage sale or something, like s selling all these Japanese things that were in the house. And um, the main character, he um, recognizes something from a friend that he had, a Japanese friend when he was younger, who was sent to an internment camp. So it takes place during World War II. Well, that part took place during World War II era. Oh, I like history, so. Historical fiction's your thing. It is. The next book I have from Book Outlet is Perfect Ruin by Lauren De Stefano, and she's the author of the Wither trilogy. And I read Wither. It was actually one of my first reviews I had on this channel, and it is an awful review. I was so bad at it, but I'll leave the link down below <laughs> because I think it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so I definitely wanted to pick this up because I did enjoy Wither. I'm not sure what it's about, but the cover is gorgeous, so I knew I had to have it. Next book I have is The River of No Return by B. Ridgway. I have no idea what it's about. Oh, it's a novel of love and time travel. Ooh, time travel. Ooh, you're the one that recommended it to me. Really? I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. I don't know what it's the about. cover's different. Um, I've seen people on YouTube and BookTube haul this book from Book Outlet. And um, so they didn't have this cover. I think they had the hardcover version, but it's a different cover. And yeah, I did recommend it. I haven't read it yet, but people yeah, seem either. to like it. So The next book I have from Book Outlet is One Plus One Equals Blue by MJ Ow Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's a fairly small book, but the cover is absolutely adorable, and it is about kids who, they have this, um, sort of, not, I'm not gonna call it a disease, because it's not a disease, but it's where a number will have a color to them, so, like, eight will be the color of yellow. Um, so, if you ever read, uh... A mango shaped space that is the same thing that these kids have and I absolutely love a mango shaped space you do too it fantastic. it's amazing I read, read it multiple it. times and I knew I had to have this one because it deals with the same thing and just it just looks adorable and I can't wait to read it next book I have is the thorn and the blossom by Theodora Goss it's a two-sided love story first of all the cover is really cute and then, Ooh, then you out. take it out. It's accordion style folded. There's so. a B on this side. Oh, oh, oh. 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 So, so this side is Brendan's story. And then this side, you flip it open and you read Evelyn's story. So you can start on either side you want. There, there's a couple pictures. Yeah, there's like one at the beginning and at the end, I think. Yeah. That's the same for like each one. Picture at the beginning and the end. And um, I've already read Evelyn's story. I started with that. And it's interesting. Not, it took a direction I wasn't expecting. I, I, it's more of a fantastical read. I would have just gotten it for the style of the book. Oh, because yeah, I mean, it's, it's an accordion. And it's got flowers on it. Then the next book I have here is Autumn Rose by Abigail Gibbs. This is the sequel to The Dark Heroine. And it is... Uh, new adult vampire story and I absolutely love the dark heroine it was very fast-paced and enjoyable and even though like it didn't look like it was edited at all because the sentences and I you know what I mean it just like it didn't look like it was edited but it was a very enjoyable read so I knew I had to pick up the sequel and the sequel is actually a lot smaller than the uh, original one but I'm really excited to see where this story goes, and it's it's actually um, following a different character than a, the dark heroine, and this one's following a character that shows up at the end of the first book, and it's at, during the same time period as the first book, but it follows her storyline, and then they probably meet up at the end again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. My next book is Never Fall Down by Patric Patricia McCormick. The National Book Award finalist. Mm -hmm. This one is based on the true story of Orange Hornpond. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> um, but it takes place during um, in Cambodia 
when the killing fields are happening. So it's a story of this kid's survival. The last five books I have to show you are all part of a series, and they are part of the Chronicles of Nick series by Sherilyn Kenyon. So here they are. The first one is Infinity. The second one is Invincible. The third one is Infamous. They all start with eyes. I found that awesome. The fourth one I is noticed. Inferno. And the fifth one is Illusion. And these, I think this series is supposed to be going on to like the 20th book or something. There's 20? Some, yeah, apparently, like, I, I don't know. Do they have I, that many I words? I don't <laughs> My next book is In the Light of What We Know by Zia Hader. Ramen? Ramen. I don't know what it's about, but again, she recommended it to me. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll read it. Oh, just me. <laughs> My last book, I got this from Walmart, and it's The Romanov Sisters by Helen Rappaport. She's um, obsessed with the Romanov family. Yeah. That part of Russian history. Uh, maybe Russian history in general. Yeah. I read Nicholas and Alexandra by Robert K. Massey. I also read Three Quarters of Catherine the Great by Robert K. Massey. And again, these books are bigger than this. They're like 900 pages long. It's a lot of reading. And it's complete. It's, it's all history. There's no fiction. Yeah. So it's a lot to take in, but I really enjoyed yeah. what I've read so far. And um, I specifically wanted to read about the Romanov sisters. Anastasia. Yeah, she's... That's Anastasia. I don't know. Am I holding her? Anastasia? That's the oldest, Olga, Tatiana, then Marie, then Anastasia. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so um, I think it's like... Yeah, Anastasia is the only one I know from the animated movie... Anastasia, even though it's not historically accurate. <laughs> not at all. She didn't not live, guys. She didn't live. She fainted originally when um, the guard went down in the basement to kill everyone. She fainted, and then they went after her with red bayonets. She didn't live. Sorry, guys. I'm going to say she did just because of the movie Anastasia. <laughs> that was our huge book haul, Black Friday book haul. It was... A lot of fun. Now, I'm probably getting some books for Christmas, but after that, I am only, I'm putting myself on a ban. I do not have the money to buy books. Go back with that. So, hey, I have, I have established that the only books I will be buying are um, the three that I told you that I really wanted, but also um, just sequels. So, like, if I read a series and I need the next book, like, now and it's out, I'm going to buy it. Oh, of course. You know? But I'm not going to go to Book Outlet and buy, like, 15 books at one time anymore because I do not have that money any at all, and I I have to do it. I have to be, I had to put myself in yeah. the van. You're going to watch me. I should give you my debit card. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. Say bye, Carl. Yeah, I will see you all next time. See ya. The next book I have from Book Outlet is... Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. Um, I just, it's just a guess. I'm butchering well, it these can't names. Be Ia because the I isn't before the A at the end. It's before the R. Delaria, probably. It's like Lair. Um, um, it's a fairly small book, but the. You're so close to hitting me in the face every time you, like, wave your book. It's like, whew. What if I want to do that? <laughs> yeah. Normally y'all took names on the bottom. I was looking. I'm like, where is it? <laughs> it's close. But I don't think they make the hardcover version of this anymore. Like, I looked oh, on... No. My hat's falling off. Oh, no. better now. Yes. <laughs> Rasputin was pretty creepy in that movie. He's creepy in real life. If you look at the pictures. <sighs> oh, my foot fell asleep. Ra, ra, Rasputin, oh, Russia's ra, ra. greatest no. love machine. I thought, yeah. is it? Russia's yeah. greatest love machine? Ra, ra, Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. Din, 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 
Dan, 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 dan. Just dance.